guys. Welcome back to Chemistry 1032 Instructional Videos. I am your professor, Dr. Russell Betts, and I'll be guiding you through 7.5 Dietary Lipids. All right. Now, fats. We all love fat. Fat's delicious. Tastes really good. Don't say you don't like it because we all love it. It's delicious. Now, fat is a product that comes from animals. Animals have fat. And it is a solid or what is also called a semi-solid, which means it's just a squishy solid or kind of a breakable solid. Think uh, peanut butter, for example. Uh, Jeff peanut butter is a semi-solid. Margarine is a semi-solid. Um, blah, 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 blah. Sorry, where was I? Oh, yes. That is a, a triglyceride made of three fatty acids joined by a glycerol backbone. Let's draw that. Here we go. This is glycerol right here. There we go. There's a molecule of glycerol. And then we're going to draw some fatty acids here. And then I'm just going to make the tail really short. Now these tails will be much longer than this, guys. Um, I'm not joking. These tails will be like 15 to 20 carbons long. Uh, I'm not going to draw 15 or 20 carbons here. I just want you to get the idea of how to do it. Here we go. Here is a Glycerol, and these are fatty acids here. And there's glycerol there. Now what's going to happen, it's a condensation reaction. What's going to happen is the glycerol will bind up or bond up covalently to the fatty acids, producing esters. And three H2O. So this is definitely a condensation reaction. And it can also go backwards. And that's a hydrolysis reaction. So building up the fats, and these are triglycerides right here. Oops, G-L-Y, C-E-R-I-D-E, -E. triglycerides also right here. Triglyceride. All right, and that's how fat is stored in your body and on, on animals as well. When times are good, build up some old fat stores. When lean times come, you break them down for energy. Building up fat stores is a condensation type reaction. Losing fat is a hydrolysis type reaction. Now, this is an important concept and it's very easy to remember. Now, please don't think I'm going to ask you to draw this kind of stuff. I'm going to draw it for you and you're going to tell me about it. Okay. So, you know, I may ask, you know, what kind of molecule is this? You'll say, oh, that's a, triglyc trigly it's a triglyceride. And that's, that's pretty much what I'll ask you. So here you go. Here's a bunch of examples. Here's a fat. And here's a oil. Now notice, unsaturated. Unsaturated fatty acids. Up here, these are saturated. Now yes, I know there's a double bond there, and that it would be unsaturated, but it's mostly unsaturated. Sorry, it's mostly saturated, excuse me. Most fats are mostly, or if not all, unsaturated. Most oils contain numerous uh, double bonds, or they're typically polyunsaturated, okay? So fats are soluble at room temperature because the motion of their hydrocarbon tails is restricted by London forces. Remember, the, the tails are hydrophobic, right? So the only force they can use is London forces to attract each other. When you melt fat, their attractive forces are disrupted and their molecular motion must increase. So that's where um, it's called rendering. When you render fat, you basically make the molecules move a little faster. Uh, for fat to melt, the forces have to be disrupted. Or the weak, okay, with the weak one forces, that's true. Fats are typically solids, but with low melting points. Fats are often called semi-solids, which just means they're soft solids. Not a big deal. Oils. Oils come from plants, typically, and they are also triglycerides. They're also triglycerides. They're just unsaturated, Okay. 
Oils are liquids and fats are solids. That's generally how it works. And they're the uh, double bonds, the unsaturation or the double bonds of oils are always cis. They're always cis. Okay? And that creates what's called a kink in their uh, normally straight tails. And that forces or allows the tri uh, triglyceride to be a liquid at room temperature. All right? So they're oils. Generally speaking, plants give you oils. Animals give you fats, but they're both tri uh, they're both tri triglycerides, also known as triacylglycerides. Okay, and that's it for that chapter. So basically, all you have to really know is you know how the difference between oils and, and fats. The difference is uh, plants give you oils. Oils are unsaturated. Animals give you fats, and fats are typically saturated. That's basically what you have to know. All right, so we'll leave it there. Another another chapter gone. Another part of a chapter gone by. So with that, I wish you good luck and good chemistry, and I'll see you back here for chapter 7.6.